Hello, Vietnam. How are you guys today? I have no idea how many people are we here today. Uh, right now, we have more than 1,000 1, people attend. Amazing. Amazing. Let me ask you a question. The people that are now on this Zoom call, yeah? Yes. Are they already are are they already upgraded members or are they new potential people to join VT? Almost almost ninety nine percent the upgrade the account already. And upgraded already. Yeah, yes. The real okay. member by the way real member. by the way, is Axel on the call? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't hear him. Tony. Can someone unmute Axel then, please? Okay, hi Mandy, yes. I'm here. Yes, now they unmute. Oh, After yeah. 15 minutes, and your connection is really, really good. I can understand you perfectly. Mm. My connection is good. Yes, really so. good. That's great. I'm no, happy to see you. Yes, it's nice. Although to see it's you. quite, it's it's quite dangerous to look at you right now. But no, no problem. <laughs> let, let me explain. They connected three Zoom rooms because every Zoom room has only uh, one thousand people. I think there are nearly over two thousand people now in the Zoom rooms, and uh, every minute joining more, uh, every second more than ten people. So we will uh, reach in this. I think in a few minutes, three thousand people for sure. And uh, yeah, most of them are already upgraded. Of course, there are some guests here today. And, okay, no the, and the partners they have, of course, the new partners, um, they sent me some, some questions before. They want to know something about the legal background, partner of ETA AG, what is Valitex, Fractal, why you work with them together. So maybe we can work on these points and then I, I ask the questions and you can answer. Maybe we can start with that, with the legal I background. Think the first point, Sarah, nice to meet you, nice to see you again, is okay, uh, you so ask about the legal background, partner of ETAG, about Valitex, Fractal, uh, so that's, that's the first question. Okay. Legal background, Valitex, Fractal. All right, um, I would divide it in three. Um, there's the legal department, there's Valitex, and there's Fractal. Now, Valitex is a is a, a, I would say, not just an audit company, but as well a company that sorts out all the taxations, the VATs of every country individually and to every member individually. Yeah? yeah. And they've recently been sold to Ernst & Young. Ernst & Young is the biggest in this industry, which means they're very good setting up our systems that we should be perfectly legal when it comes to bookkeeping. In all details, that means every cent of share power, of units, of commissions, is 100% perfect into detail. It's a very big deal because doing this in an internal system and not having a good bookkeeping, not good. Right, number two is Fractal. Fractal does the KYC for us, which is good for two points. Number one, Fractal is from the biggest in Europe, if not the biggest. They work with banks, uh, those who use Bitwala or Stax account know Bit, uh, Fractal as well. But the main point is, if we at Vite aim at privacy and not being able to sell the data of people, the good part and the cool part is of that, that we don't do the KYC, which means that we do not possess the details, the KYC details of our members, which means from Vite on cannot be sold data to third parties and this is how we can keep privacy to a very high level of our members. Number three, the most important part is the legal. We are, we are as known, a Swiss Zug company. We are working with the biggest law firm of Zug, yeah, and they are mainly here to represent us to the authorities when it comes to government issues for legislation, legitimacy, um, all the governance of the company on corporate level, yeah, they're there to represent us and settle everything. And this goes down to the financial authorities, this goes down to the legal authorities, um, whether check up on our social media, on our token, and foremost on our network marketing structure, which means being compliant completely by government. I'm here for the long term and I want to rather work with the government 
them versus build, building an anti-government establishment. That's not my intention. My intention is to the long term. And I'd rather have the government work with us rather than against us. Axel, what's the next question? It's one of the next questions is, when, they will, when will be the public launch? What is the future yeah. vision and mission of we say what are coming next? What are the yeah, plans? Yeah. I'm not going to answer this question. <laughs> I'm not going to answer this question. It's a question that everybody asks, but if we, we as a company didn't release it officially yet, I'm not going to talk about it. Next question, please. <laughs> I get this question every day. <laughs> in fact, we ask ourselves sometimes, when will we decide to place a date on it? I have in my head, an, 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 I mean, about what day, day it's going to happen, but I'm not going to disclose it now. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I hope you, there's mutual understanding here. Okay. Let, let's, say, let's say that, wait, Sarah, let's say that there's different words. Um, there, there must be some things, of course, the legal things. Uh, I think the website must be 100% stable and all these things. So, you know, we're talking here about software and nobody can give an exact date uh, when we're talking about software. That must be That's ready. Correct. The company has a plan, but can, of course cannot give an exact date. Let me, let me tell you something else. Yesterday there was a coordination meeting um, I'm on my way actually to the second part of the coordination meeting now, mainly for the IT department. Um, there's some decision making to be taken. But what I saw in the planning on the new the designs, the, the engine and the minds behind the features, etc., for our web app, yeah, um, I was yesterday. I was so, so uh, uplifted. I was in such in a good mood after the meeting. And usually after the meeting, I'm exhausted. Yesterday, what I saw where this is going, and we're not talking about a year from now, of course, and not even a three quarters of a year. Um, I am so looking forward. And uh, yeah, yeah, it is. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be so nice. I mean, I guess I saw it for the first time. And we're going to discuss today little minor details. Uh, wow, there's going to be a lot of things you can do with your likes. Uh, this is going to stimulate the entire network a lot, and obviously it will result in the coin. Uh, it makes me it makes me laugh because before that call, I had another call, and somebody asked, "Mendy, is it time to buy tokens?" I said, "No." I said, "I'll tell you why." My colleague Shaga, the COO and co-founder of this company always tells people when they ask him, should I buy the token? Now he says, no, if you understand Vite, you don't ask me any questions anymore about it. Um, nevertheless, if somebody wants to follow my advice, I'm not selling any coin. And I'm acquiring and acquiring and acquiring the more coins I can. <laughs> Usually, you will never hear me talking in meetings about the coin. I never mention that. It is not important to me. I mean, it is, don't get me wrong, it is important to me. <laughs> yeah. But you don't hear me talk about it because our project is not the coin. The coin is a result of what happens in our project because our coin is a utility. People buy this coin because they want to do something with it. They want to buy an upgrade. They want to buy units. They want to get involved. And later on, in the, late, in the later stage, when we grow nice and big, we will introduce e-commerce where people can actually use their tokens and buying products and services. However, what I can tell people, and what I am telling people, and, and I'm really, 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 not just believing in that, to me it's a fact, this is not an opinion. If you, and I'm not talking to you specifically, but to every person individually, if you don't have tokens, and you tell me you understand it, hey, I, as a founder, as a co-founder, as the chief commercial officer, will tell you, you have no idea what Vite is all about. No idea. Because if you understand Vite, you understand you need to have a lot of coins on the side. Whatever it is. But if you understand Vite, this is what you're going to do. And if you don't, it's blah, blah to me. You're telling me you think you know, but you're going to find yourself living in a mistake. I know what we designed in this system, and this is what I'm telling, why I'm telling what I'm telling now. So this is my message to people. 
if they want to follow good advice. Okay, there is a question, an interesting question. They say they also see a lot of uh, red accounts in the Vietnam group. And so the question is, uh, what, what is uh, from the company side, uh, the, the, what, what can, can, can the company do? But I, I, will, I ask you a different way. What is the best, best way for the, for the group, for the Vietnam team to handle that with a red account? I like the question. I do like the question. And I'm actually busy this week with this, with this issue. Many people come back to me about red people and how do I convert them to green and what will the company do? <laughs> In order to, to, to find a solution to a problem, one must first understand what the problem is. And if you identify the problem and you acknowledge the problem, 50% of your solution is right there in front of you. How did it happen, red people, in the first place? Is it the company's fault? Is it the person's fault? Is it the upline's fault? Is it the communication's fault? Is it the education fault? What is it? Let's first agree that this is not a company issue, but this is a person. And the person decided to pay either one time an upgrade or he was never really informed how this works. And then there's a miscommunication between the uplines and the downlines and the person and the prospects. So this is number one that we must address. And this is education. And some, not many of you are sitting in my education group. I have an education group and I addressed it this week and I decided today not to write anything about it, but just focus this week, how you change that. And this is by opening up an eye, an eye opener to those very specific people. Maybe you, you didn't inform your people with the right and accurate information. Maybe you wanted to have a quick win and enter somebody fast and not telling him everything up front. That was a mistake, obviously, but you can always repair a mistake. And this is by very simple, telling a person Yes. You want to have an, an exposure with them. You want to have a meeting with them. And when you have this very meeting with them, you start with listening. Listening, what bothers them? Why are they not upgrading again? What is the issue? Why don't they want? And you really listen. But I mean really, really, really listen. And everything they say, you write down either on a pen and paper or you listen good, carefully and memorize what they say. Because that's very important. Our business is not about us, it's about them. When you bring somebody to Vitae, it's not about you making commissions, it's about them making commissions. And if you make sure your people making commissions, you will earn a lot as well. This is the best approach to, to, to execute our Vitae business. This is not just a Vitae, this is in general in network marketing or MLM, if you, if you will but thinking about them first rather than you. Knowing what you might benefit of it is very nice. But when you work with a person, you should work, what can I add value to his life, not mine? And if I add value to people's lives, it will add obviously value to my life as well. So this is the first approach of thinking. And that's by listening to this person, what bothers them, what holds them back? Is it time, is it money, is it vision? Is it limiting belief in themselves? Is it limiting belief in the system? What is it? Listening to them. That's step number one. That's step number two. Before we enter step number two, we must understand that our form of business is education and understanding. We educate people. Just a sec, my GPS is talking. <laughs> we educate people and help them understand what it is that we do and what it is that we have to offer. We educate ourselves first, and we un uh, to help understand ourselves, what it is that we do in Vitae, and what it is that Vitae has to offer to the market, both in the short and in the long term. And if we understand that our business is, a, is education and understanding, we also understand that this is serious business and this is for real. This is not just a scam 
where we jump in for a short period of time, collect some funds, some lose, some make, and you get out and you, and you move on to the next journey, adventure, obviously from one to one. Because ultimately, you might win, you might lose on the way, but even if you might win on the way, don't forget, you lose your name, you lose your reputation, you can over time not show your face anymore in the market. Which means I rather understand that I'm building here a long-term business and going through financial to build financial freedom than collecting here and jumping up from one system to another. That's my view of it. I've been there, I've done that, I've been a victim to those uh, uh, scams. I'm not interested to be scammed anymore. Okay, I want to work for a period of time, even a longer period of time, but know that I work towards a, sta towards a stable income. Okay. This is, this is what I see. Now, now um, what is important to understand is maybe, and I'm thinking now about the red people, maybe they've been told this is a quick win. This is like you are used the last few scams, maybe. But the question is very simple, yeah? Do you really think that you can make fast money in a stable, serious, long-term business? Do you really believe that? Have you ever seen that in every other industry? Maybe there is in a scam, but it's a short period. I'm talking about the long-term period, people you know that make fast money with a little effort, for a long period of time. Have you ever seen that? Whether in traditional business, in MLM, in network marketing, in stock market, whatever it is, even in the lottery, have you ever seen that? That's a question one should ask himself. Okay, now if yes. this is the issue, that people thought they were here for a quick win, our job is to educate them and help them understand that they live in a dream that is gonna blow in their face in a, in a very painful way which means that we need to relate to their pain. And that's step number two, relate. Show the person to understand what situation he is. That this is what you felt the same. But this is what you found. You found the level of understanding. You found the level of, of educating yourself that you are in the real world and you're fed up of all the scrap that's going around, that you're fed up of that, and you actually want to build something. Now, this is what we, what our job is, to relate to these people, relate and have them understand. We understand where you are. I understand what you feel, and I felt the same. But here's what I found. What I found out is that you can have success. You can build. It's not fast. You want to do it fast, you can do it fast. If you work hard, if you really work hard, you can do it very, very fast, yeah? But, I mean, I know people in Vite making 5000 7000 8000 10000 dollars every month. But I also know what they do for it. They work hard. They put 12 to 16 hours a day. But let me ask you something else. How many people do you know that make $10,000 a day and are not working 12 hours a day? I don't know many. And maybe you will find some people making $10,000 a month and working only five hours a day, but how long have they worked before that? 12, 16, 17, 18, maybe 20 hours a day in order to get to a stage where they just need to work five hours a day and have the stable income. Managing from upstairs, yes, because no job will offer you that if you're not willing to put in your time, your effort, your go-getting motivation, your drive, your inside desire, your burning. What job will offer you that? I don't know that. And I'm living in a country where people might earn this amount. But even in my country, and even in richer countries, in order to earn $10,000 a month, you need to do something very serious for a very long period of time for them. And everybody that earns that amount will tell you the same. It's people who don't earn, they think it's not. Now, I don't think you need to talk about $10,000. You want to earn $3,000 a month. Yeah, it's also very nice in my country. Yeah, and in many other countries, $3,000 a month is very, very nice. 
But every job that offers you three thousand dollars in our countries, what do you need to do, and how long do you need to do that? And this is what people must understand, and this is what we relate with. And this is when you tell your story, which is step number three, is tell people, I've looked around and I've talked to these people and I've seen these people. These people that work $3,000 a month income, they work every single day. They're at 8 o'clock in, in their job and they don't leave before 4 afternoon. And that's every day, every week, every month for so many years already. And yes, then they earn a nice income of $3,000. So what's the difference between a regular job and our job? We can work on our flexible times. Our potential gap is not $3,000. This person earned $3,000. That's it. In order to get a promotion, huh, he's going to work a few years. There. But us, we get promoted to ourselves. We promote ourselves by the amount of effort that we decide to put into our job. And finally, the fourth step is very easy. If I would you, if I can show you how this can fit for you, if I can work with you, would you, would you join me? If I, could, if I would give you a hand and help you in your meetings, would you address that to prospects and make these meetings? And what would people most of the time say? Sure, yeah, why not? I mean, this is a question that always gets yeses. I mean, for 99% of the time, it's very simple. When I build a business, it's very simple. You need to look at it building your own business. Imagine you're opening up a restaurant. How many customers do you want to have in your restaurant? Three? Five, fifty, or a hundred. Obviously, every person will tell you, "I want to have a hundred customers that come in a month in my in my in my shop." Yeah. Now, once you have these hundred customers, what you want to do is make these customers returning customers, and then expand to fifty more customers or another one hundred customers, and make your business, your restaurant, or your shop, or whatever it is, bigger. Yeah. Person has 15 or 20 people in his in his purpose matrix. Don't expect an income of a restaurant of 100 customers. Expect an income of a restaurant of 20 customers and it closes down after two months. It's very simple because a restaurant cannot sustain by 20 customers. So this is why after two months you're having red people in your team. The good news is <clears throat> in a restaurant you need to go out and find 100 customers. In our business, you don't need to do this by yourself. You can do it together with your people. And they're counted like your customers. And your people get commissions, and you get commissions, and because your people helped you bring in these people, you will get sponsor commissions. And what do they spend in your restaurant? About $200 a month? They buy steak, or is it your shop, your grocery store, your fish store, your meat store? They spend $200 in your shop every month? Yes, that's how you earn, and you earn a lot. And even if they have good customers, they spend $560 a month. There's better customers, correct? You service them more, but you earn also more. And over time, you need to see that nobody opens up a shop and has 100 customers the same day. It's impossible. You need to build it up. But a few months later, you have a sustainable shop, and the income is sustainable and growing. And this is what's nice about our business. But this is not just what's nice. You offer people the last 50%, 200 bucks for what? in order to help them overcome the time period of finding people. And that's what people must think about. This is what we are unique and different than every other network marketing or MLM business out there in the market. This is what we have to offer. And this is the education we need to give to people to help them understand what is our differences and what are we here to, de to devote and dedicate to the market. Anyway, one must understand the success is built with patience. There's a reason why only 10% of the world is successful and 90% of the people are either living in poverty or just make ends meet at the end of the month. There's a reason for that. Because the majority of people live in a dream, have no patience, and don't understand the big rules of the game of success. Success loves speed. Success loves consistency. Every single day being in a routine, not one day here, one day there. You really want to build something, you do this every day. I can guarantee you, if you work seven to eight hours a day, sitting opposite prospects, and you do this for three months straight, five to six days a week, every single day, I guarantee you, you have an amazing income. This is a fact, and nobody will deny it. And this is something you don't have in every other job. If you sit every single day, not one day out, 
like a regular job and you take this like a regular job, like running your own business, your own business, your own shop, your own restaurant, as we talked earlier, every single day for seven hours straight to eight hours straight, every single day, opposite prospects, talking about Vite, some will join, some will not understand it, some will not join, whatever it is, but if you do this for three months straight, 90 days in a row, your income after 90 days is like this. And from there on, it starts, it starts to become very interesting because it's not just about you, it's about the people you brought in in those days that they start making nice commissions. Red people are something you will not see in your team. It means life, and believe me, I can show you so many people that it has changed already their lives, that it's meaningful for them, that they feel that they have a purpose in their life. So many people that were involved in different network marketing, and I'm talking about the high, high levels. We've just brought in last week people of other companies of top, top, top leadership, of the highest of their levels, yeah, that they decided to leave their current company, to leave their current commissions, people with over 50 to 100,000 euros per month in commissions, that they decided to leave their company because they don't see a future in their company, but they see a future here. Because they see, you know what, I'm doing something that I can finally believe in, not just for the commissions, but what I'm doing is right. What I'm doing is correct. What I'm doing feels good. And I'm part of something greater and bigger than one can imagine. And this is what I'm talking about. Vite is not just life in sense, it's life in big, 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 meaningful, meaningful, meaningful aspect. And that's what's important. Guys, I want to give you a little piece of advice. Get your act together, get yourself together. We're here over a thousand people I heard in this, in this room. And let's use this as a, a, a guideline to what our next three to four weeks will look like. Yeah. If we all decide together now to build up, yeah, and decide, you know what, let's start everyone, each of us, with our first five customers, with our first five customers of our new restaurant, of our new shop, our new store, just five customers, yeah, and we're talking about here 2,000 people all together, times five, that's 10,000 people in the next month, we will build a great momentum for Vietnam. We will do something very, very big for Vietnam. Okay. Yeah. And that's what's important. We need just to get our act together. It's not that difficult. It's not that difficult to explain business, what we do to somebody else. It's not that difficult. It's quite easy. We have an amazing conversation plan. We have video tools coming. Yeah? I mean, more and more um, people are joining us. And there's a reason. The coin has been going up in, our, in, in value as well recently. You want to see it going up more? Let's do it together. 2,000 people times five is 10,000 people. 10,000 people times $200, just an upgrade. There's $2 million of demand for our token. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. The pleasure was all mine. And again, let's have this challenge now on ourselves. We're 2,000 people times five. By the end of the month, we're making 10,000 new people in Vietnam.